Corleone. My gift was to be able to persuade people to give to the Holy Church. Then Rome decides to put me in charge of the Vatican Bank. Oh, Constantine, how much misfortune you caused, not by becoming Christian, but by the dowry which the first rich pope accepted from you. How true Dante's words were. Even the sins of the flesh are simple, compared to the burden of money. But I was never a true banker. Mea culpa, I trusted my friend. Friendship in money, oil and water. Indeed. These friends use the good name of the church to feed their greed. If money was lost, then I am to blame. Oh, if only prayer could pay off our $700 million deficit. 769. <clears throat> you quote Dante, Archbishop, and beautifully. But we're not talking about poetry now. This is business. And I have my interests, just as you have your problems. Don Corleone. I need your help, and not just to light a little candle. <laughs> what would you have of the Holy Church in return? The Church owns 25% of a large corporation, Immobilare. You know the one I mean. Largest landlord on Earth, real estate all over the world worth $6 billion. That's true. Immobilare could be something new. A European conglomerate. Few families have control of such a company. And the Vatican vote is necessary for control. No, no, no. You're mistaken. This isn't a question of one person deciding, one deciding vote. This is like any other company in the world. We have directors, we have rules, we have very old rules. Pope himself would have to approve you. We've sold the casinos. All businesses having to do with gambling. We have no interests or investment in anything illegitimate. Some people may have reservations. The Corleone family, partners with the Pope, they may cry blasphemy. Corleone is prepared to deposit $500 million in the Vatican Bank at such times Mr. Corleone receives majority control of Immobiliari. It seems in today's world, the power to absolve debt is greater than the power of forgiveness. Six hundred million dollars. Don't overestimate the power of forgiveness. Dr. Corleone, this deal with an obliary can make you one of the richest men in the world. Your whole past history and the history of your family will be watched. You'll be as respectable as Rockefeller. Six hundred million.
my dear children. It is now better than several years since I moved to New York, and I haven't seen you as much as I would like to. 